Lesson 11.8 is linear programming. I would pause the video and write down these notes. Linear programming consists of maximizing or minimizing a linear objective function or subject to certain conditions or constraints. So you'll have an objective function, which is what you're trying to maximize, cost or people or something like that. Um, and then you have certain constraints or conditions that must be followed. Feasible points are each point x, y that satisfy the system of linear inequalities that you're going to create. And then the solution is the feasible point that maximizes or minimizes the objective function. The feasible points are all located at corner points on the graph. In this problem, we have a retired couple that can invest up to $25,000. As their financial advisor, you recommend that they place at least $15,000 in treasury bills, which will yield 2% interest, and at most 5% in corporate bonds, which will yield 3% interest. So we're going to write a system of linear inequalities that describe the possible amounts of each investment and then graph the system of inequalities. Let's go ahead and pause the video and write the system of inequalities. So always make sure you define your variables. I let T be the money in treasury bills and C be the money in corporate bonds. So T must be greater than or equal to 15,000. C must be greater than or equal to zero because we can't have negative money, but it must be less than or equal to 5,000. And T plus C, the total money they're investing, must be less than or equal to 25,000. So now go ahead and pause the video and graph this system of inequalities. So here's our solution. We have here the uh, T must be greater than or equal to 15,000. We have here C must be greater than zero, but less than 5,000. And then here we have that T plus C must be greater than 25,000. So this purple area down here is our solution to the inequality. So now we're getting into the linear programming part. We want to develop a model that be can be used to determine how much money they should place in each investment so that income is maximized. So we want to write a function for the income. So using how much money they're going to make for interest, try and write a function for income. So the income they're going to make is going to be equal to the interest that they're earning. So it's going to be 2% or 0 0.02 times how much they put in treasury bills and 3% or 0 0.03 times how much they put in corporate bonds. So now what we're going to do is we're going to go back to our inequality graph that we just made and we're going to test and label all the corner points. So what we mean by corner points is when we look at this section in here where the solution is, we're going to hit all of these intersection corner points right here. So we're going to first, I want you to pause the video and find those four corner points and label them. So the four corner points, we have 15,000 comma 5,000, we have 20,000 comma 5,000, we have 25,000 comma zero, and we have 15,000 comma zero. So if we're going to have a solution or our solution that we're going to have is going to be one of those four points. So now we're going to test all of those. So plug them into our income function and figure out which one maximizes. So go ahead and pause the video and try that. So when you test all of these, you find that the most income you earn is $550, and that's earned when you put $20,000 into treasury bills and $5,000 into corporate bonds. So once you have your objective function, you do your inequality graph, test the feasible points, which are all the corner points, and see which one either maximizes or minimizes your objective function. At the end of every month, after filling orders for its regular customers, a coffee company has some pure Colombian coffee and some special blend coffee remaining. The practice of the company has been to package up a mixture of the two coffees into one pound packages as followed. A low grade mixture containing four ounces of Colombian coffee and 12 ounces of special blend coffee and a high grade mixture of eight ounces of Colombian coffee and eight ounces of the special blend. A profit of 30 cents per package is made on the low grade mixture, whereas a profit of 40 cents per package is made on the high grade mixture. This month, 120 pounds of special blend coffee and 100 pounds of Colombian coffee remained. How many packages of each mixture should be sold to maximize the profit? So go ahead and write an objective function. So what are we actually trying to do? Set up a system of inequalities, graph it, and see if we can uh, maximize this profit. The first thing I did was I defined my variables. Since you're solving for how many of each package you want, that's what I let the variables be. So I let L be the number of low-grade packages and H be the number of high-grade packages. 
And then my objective function is that we're solving for profit. You make 30 cents per package on the low grade and 40 cents per package on the high grade. So our objective function is that our profit is equal to 0 0.3 times L plus 0 0.4 times H. For constraints, both number of packages must be at least zero. So L is greater than or equal to zero and H is greater than or equal to zero. And then for my second two, I took the amount of weight of each type of coffee. So we have 100 pounds of the Colombian coffee. And in each low grade package, there's 0.25 pounds. And in each high grade package, there's half a pound. So you end up with 0.25L plus 0.5H must be less than or equal to 100. And then same thing for the special blend. You have 120 total pounds of the special blend coffee. There are three quarters of a pound in each low grade package and half a pound in each high grade package. Those, those, so those are our objective function and our constraints. If you haven't already done so, go ahead and pause the video and graph your inequality function and find your feasible points. So I graphed the inequality or system of inequalities. So this red line here is the uh, Columbia constraint, the 0.25L plus 0.5H is less than or equal to 100. And the blue line is the uh, special blend constraint, 0.75L plus 0.5H is less than or equal to 120. Everything has to be positive, so then our inequality solution is this purple shaded area. And then our feasible points are 0, 200, 160, 0, and 40, 80. If you can't find these, you can always find the solution of that system right there, solve that system of inequal uh, equations, and find that intersection point. So if you haven't already done so, take these and your objective function, our profit equals 0.3L plus 0.4H, and find the number of packages that will maximize profit. So taking our three feasible points and plugging them into our objective function, we find that our maximum profit is $84, and it occurs when you sell 40 low-grade packages and 180 high-grade packages. So for linear programming, you're going to have a linear function that you're going to maximize or minimize, and a set of constraints which will form a system of linear inequalities. You then graph your system of linear inequalities. The feasible points are all the corner points of your solution set, and then you plug those into your objective function to find your actual maximum or minimum.